New Jersey Governor Chris Christie's repeated apologies in the firing of top aide Bridget Ann Kelly did little to curb the traffic scandal rocking his administration. Some Fort Lee residents affected by the George Washington Bridge gridlock last September not ready to forget or forgive. I feel outraged. I feel insulted. I feel taken advantage of, inconvenienced. Uh, it was terrible to find out that this was a deliberate petty act about with politicians. So I was missing, you know, my customers, and which cost me revenue, because you know, if the dogs can't, they're not here. There's no income. Six New Jersey residents have filed a lawsuit against Christie, the state of New Jersey, the Port Authority of New York and New Jersey, and others, saying the traffic jam was engineered as political payback against Fort Lee's mayor. It's a violation of free speech. It's a violation of the First Amendment because what it, this is is a punishment against an entire town for voting wrong. With the U.S. Attorney, New Jersey lawmakers, and the General Inspector of the Port Authority all investigating what happened, NYU law professor Bert Newborn says there are only three possible outcomes for Christie. Was he completely exonerated? Was he, is there a smoking gun that really makes him guilty? Or is, this, is there enough smoke in the middle? to say that there's got to be fire. Meantime, the governor, who's considered a possible presidential candidate in 2016, kept a low profile Friday, trying to move past the biggest challenge in his political career. Robert Bumstead, Associated Press. Uh, great respect for the mayor. We had a very good conversation.